YouTube, this is the Art of Beauty, and I'm just doing an update on the Iman Cream to Powder Foundation. Um, I know it's a lot of you out there who says it leave an ashy um, cast on your face. Um, for me, I have very, very dry skin, flaky skin, and I also had a problem with the Iman Cream to Powder Foundation. So, um, I've been experimenting and I came up with a solution. Um, so, if you guys are interested in um, trying something out to make this product work for you, stay tuned. Now, the first thing you're going to need, you're going to need your cream to powder foundation. You're going to need Vaseline. And you're going to need your black opal or whatever setting powder you prefer. I'm going to apply this um, foundation with my finger. So I already um, applied the uh, my uh, primer and my uh, Vaseline. Now, this is the part where that's very important. You don't want to put too much. I know you're probably saying, "Well, my face look real, real um, oily." But it's really not that oily. Like I said, I had real dry, flaky skin, so I need this. So, But you don't want to apply too much of this. I mean, you want to apply, let me show you on my finger. I mean, it's whatever you prefer, but I'm just saying, like, you this much. You want to have about this much, and you want to rub it in your hands and just put it all over your face. And you might want to take just a little bit more to get the spots that really need it. And just rub it in like you want to, you know, you want to distribute this um, Vaseline good all over your face before um, you will start to apply the foundation. So now what I'm about to do is I'm going to go in with my finger and I'm going to start applying my foundation with my finger. Or if you want, you can go in with your um, your brush and do it, your, your powder brush, in which I'm going to still use my uh, powder brush. I just want to use my finger first. So I'm going to use the brush to um, buff it out. And it goes on very smooth with this um, Vaseline on. I'm going to start in. I'm doing one side of my face, so hopefully you guys will be able to see the difference. I'm just smoothing it out with my finger. Because before it was very hard to work with. And I found using the Vaseline, it helps dish, dish, uh, move the product around very easily. And the spots that you want to cover, you can just spot treat that. Put 
with your finger. Well, actually, I shouldn't have did it right now. But can you see the difference? Okay, so now I'm just going to hurry up and do the other side. Out of my face. And if you want, you can go back and look at my other video. Um, I think it was uh, Black Opal versus Iman foundation and you probably could see a difference I'm not sure but it's sure enough a difference and <sighs> let me just finish putting this on I think it's better with my finger I didn't want to give up on this product and plus I couldn't find my receipt to take it back so I had to find something that worked for me by being winter my skin is super dry and flaky Okay, I'm just smoothing it out. And now I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to buff it out. The e.l.f. powder brush. I'm just going to buff it out real gently, real lightly. I mean, it, it's just fine with, with, like this, but um, I didn't notice that much transfer, but I'm still going to go ahead and set it with the um, with the setting powder by Black Opal. So I'm dipping my brush in here, knocking the excess off. And now I'm going to apply it to one side of my face first. I'm going to dab it in. That way your makeup won't look ashy. That way you won't have to um <laughs> be so upset especially when you try something that you've been wanting to try and it's not working out for you
future world. Okay, so this will help eliminate that shine, that crazy shine that I had the first time. Okay, so now I'm going to take a different brush to just like dust away any loose powders. Even though it's going to absorb, but still. Make sure, I get under, make sure you get under your eye too. So I'm going to use a smaller brush. Because we don't want that creasing. that off. This is sick. And there you go. I hope this helps you. I, it works for me. And um, I applied it on my hand. And you know, your hand is kind of different than your face because you're moving around. You touch your stuff, rubbing it against things. And it's still on my hand. It has not gone anywhere. And so, I hope that this helps. And also, uh, for the people who have the dry and flaky skin, um, I purchased this um, Queen Helen Hydrating Olive Oil Mask for dry skin. It's amazing. So I wash my face with this. You know, it has um, it's a night relaxing, deep pleasing face wash. Winds you down, washes away daily buildup with sea minerals and sea kelp extract. So I use this. Wash my face with this. I scrub my face with this, and then I put this mask on my face. And then I um, I use Vaseline, and that worked for me. Um. So, yeah, so maybe that will help you. I know it's working for me. I would do that on an everyday basis um, for the simple fact that I have very dry and flaky skin. So, I hope this helped you guys. Um, thanks for watching. Um, like, rate, comment, let me know, you know, if this helped you, um, how you feel about it. Did it work for you, you know? And subscribe. Thank you for watching.